We begin tonight in Nanaimo, where a two-year-old dog is recovering at a veterinary clinic after enduring a horrific act of cruelty. The dog was brought in on Saturday morning by his owner, a man from Gabriola Island. The dog was covered in cuts and scrapes, bleeding from head to toe. As A News reporter Steve Colterman shows us, the owner told staff he had caused the injuries and then turned the animal over for treatment. We warn you that some of the pictures in Steve's report are disturbing. Meet Molly, a two-year-old wire-haired pointer. Molly is being provided lots of tender, loving care from the staff at the Island Veterinary Hospital in Nanaimo. She hasn't given us one whine or moan since she's been here. Molly arrived on Saturday following an incident on Gabriola Island. She is one of the hospital's top priorities and is being provided treatment several times a day. It is looking so much better than it was on Saturday. Dr. Brent Crutchfield has been at Molly's side since she was admitted and knows the two-year-old is lucky to be alive. She has extensive road rashes and um, essentially what amounts to burns all over her body right now. She was lucky in that she didn't break any bones, um, didn't fracture any teeth, but she certainly did uh, suffer from extensive skin damage. Why Molly came into the hospital for treatment in the first place had the entire staff in shock. A gentleman had come in with an injured dog, which turned out to be Molly, um, and he stated that he had um, tied her up to the back of his truck and had dragged her for some 500 yards. Um, they uh, took care of Molly, and then uh, I believe the gentleman decided to surrender the dog to the SPCA uh, on Sunday. The name of the owner at the time of the incident cannot be released as an investigation into how Molly's injuries occurred is still ongoing. We have a constable who will be uh, interviewing him this week so we can find out exactly what his version of events are. And this could be a terrible accident um, but there is uh, obviously a clear um, uh, lack of responsibility the, the, the appropriate care wasn't provided for the dog we're gonna have to do a lot to to heal her wounds and it'll take you know some surgeries and a lot of bandage changes and a lot of TLC but certainly she's gonna recover from this dr. Crutchfield says Molly's injuries will take time to heal controlling the pain and infections are a top priority Molly is expected to remain in hospital for the next 10 days following her release, she will stay at the SPCA on a temporary basis until a permanent home is found. We're hoping the public might be able to come up with some donations to help Molly through this. Um, and then once uh, we have her recovered and she's um, good to go, she will be adopted to a new family, which we will pick very, very carefully. Whoever the next owner of Molly might be, they are being advised that she will need lots of care. Pain medication will be a must, but doctors are especially hoping for a family who can provide tender love and care throughout the rest of Molly's life. In Nanaimo, Steve Coulterman, A News.